All right, you guys, um, in this video, I'm going to show you how I did this piece. It's the junior of this mammoth of a piece. This one's 48 by 48. This one I think is 20, 24, but I sped up through it because it took me a number of days. So I'm just going to tell you real quick what you're going to see in the video. First, I did the gray wash background like by spritzing water and letting it drip and things like that. Then I went in and picked the areas that I wanted to have this red added and I just kept layering deeper and deeper every time. Let that set. Next day I added um, this gold leaf with um, a special adhesive. I'll link all the materials I used in the comment box below and then I went over it with um, gold leaf. I can't decide yet if I want to resin her to finish. I think I will, but stay tuned till the end of the video to see how I finished off this piece before I post her for sale.
All right, you guys. Jeff took all of our camera mounts out to the mural that he's working on today, so I'm doing the best I can with, I can't even explain the rig to you guys. So I'm going to finally finish Bertha. I'm gonna try a couple new things maybe, I don't know. Depends on if I'm brave enough. We'll see. So, um, I'm using Envirotex Light on this piece for no other reason than I like how it works. I hope this cup is big enough. I'm not sure how much resin this will take. I'm not doing that much like artwork with it. I'm just giving it a good coat. So, we'll see if I have enough resin. Okay. I've been toying with the idea of adding some glitter, but I don't know if this is like too not really gold. I think it'll probably be fine. Yeah, it'll be fine. So here we go. Now, since I knew I was going to be adding resin to it, I prep the canvas just like I would if I was just prepping for a regular pour so that it doesn't dip so much in the middle. I usually try to make sure that the interior has a good, healthy, even coat before I push the resin to the sides. That way as little falls off as possible. Sometimes you'll end up with a piece of gold that just wants to stick up. If you like maneuver it enough, it'll either come up or go ahead and lay down. That way you can avoid doing a second coat because that takes time. And it's not a fun time. And then you have to sand it and heat it and alcohol it. And if it can be done in one coat, I'm all for it. Alcohol it, I know. What is this? Resin's expensive. I need to find a resin sponsor. That's what I need to do one day baby steps. All right, now that everything's covered, I'm at the point where I have to decide if I want to add sparkle or not. And typically, I'm a sparkle kind of person, so we're gonna give that a shot. Have y'all ever tried to put wet gloves back on? Don't recommend. It's like putting on a wet swimsuit, only with resin. Not fun times. I did not have this much left over, so we're gonna add it into the mix. I'm adding clear resin over where I have glitter and all of the pigment powder. That's just going to push around what I already have. So it's going to make little designs, which I will show you guys when we're done with the whole piece.
You gotta be careful when you use mica powders. I don't know if this is a mica powder or just a pigment powder. It says non-toxic. I don't know. What are labels? But um, be careful because it's not good in your lungs if it is mica. Y'all can't really see it right now, but you will in a minute. I'm tilting it just a little bit while I add this heat so that it can generate more movement because gravity. I had y'all rigged up there with this thing. Like this. On this bar. Like that's where we're at right now. So this is a small version of this. I didn't put the gray in the background like I did in this one. And I haven't covered it in resin yet. When I do, I haven't decided if I'm gonna do the glitter thing or leave it just clear, but like on the surface, you can't really see much about that pigment powder that we like dusted over it. But on the side, you can, let me get a light. Let's see. Well, you can see some of it. Alright, I'll show y'all more about how she turned out after she sets. 